All right, what's up, everyone? So, we had a bit of an issue. Um, this isn't me playing. Well, this is me playing, but not right now. This isn't, I'm not playing this right now. So I recorded this video and, uh, and what happened is my microphone wasn't recording sound, I guess. And uh, this is, it's kind of funny because I was just talking to uh, Ogre Guy in his comments of one of his videos. Uh, <laughs> I mean, just like yesterday, and he had a he had re-uploaded a second video because uh, he had mentioned that uh, his sound wasn't recording, and I even commented there and I was like, "Haha, I thought I just did this, but I didn't, or I almost did this, but I didn't, but I've done it before, or whatever." Um, and I was wrong. I did do it. I I thought I didn't do it. I thought I caught it before I recorded, but apparently I didn't. So I was going back to edit the video uh, right now, <laughs> and um, I noticed I wasn't talking. So the sound is there. Um, you can you can hear you can hear you know the looting and everything like that, but my voice isn't there. So my microphone is what wasn't recording. Anyways, you can see here we're at the sisters' camp. I'm going to do my best um, to kind of like narrate this. I didn't want to waste the footage. And most of all, I didn't want to like just have a gap in the in the overall playthrough, the overall journey. I try to get everything on there. I try to get every ding on there, every level on there, and stuff like that. And uh, I believe I level in this, so I have no idea what I was talking about the entire time. So I'll just have to make it up. I'm not I'm not the best at holding a conversation, or especially holding a conversation with myself, right? So. Um, I don't know. We'll see here. So you can see here, I got uh, I got a good amount of swords. So I was doing some killing prior to starting this recording. You could also see that I was talking to Idjit, um, who was in one of my videos a while back, and I was talking to him about the sisters' camp and different things. Just reading the chat here. So we're just taking care of the sisters. Um, I am level... What level was I? I think I'm level 26, I believe. And um, I need myself to open my inventory again so I can see <laughs> what level I am. Pretty sure I'm 26. And obviously I'm friendly with the sisters. So you can see here, uh, she's not attacking me. I'm not attacking her. I'm probably trying to just give a little bit of a gap between one sister and the other so that I don't get both together. Um, did I say I was level 26? Yeah, I think I'm level 26. Is that what I said? I think that's what I said. Um, so, I am one level higher than the highest sister. One, one sister is level 24, the other sister is level 25. So I waited till I was 26 so that they're both blues to me. I did try to come here at 25. Um, but I had trouble pulling and so I was like screw it I'm just gonna um, finish off my level and then I'll try again so you know if you saw it excuse me if you saw it before I went over to the Aviac Island for a bit I went to the Gargoyle Island I went to the Goblin Island I was just kind of going a little bit at each of them just to get my finish my level off and then now that both of these sisters are blue to me I decided to come over here and and take them out you can see this mage here. I think this mage stays here for a while. I don't know if it's that same one. But a mage ends up here. Oh, good. A mage ends up here to um, to kill stuff. Uh, I think they're waiting for my camp. A couple people come to try to get the camp. Uh, but they end up just killing some of the other sisters. At least this mage does. I don't know. Like, again, I don't know if it's this mage or another mage. Um... Once again, if you don't watch, if you didn't or haven't been, I know there's some people who only watch the classes that they're interested in. Um, yeah, so this mage is killing uh, these other sisters. Waiting for me to leave, I believe. Usually that's what people will do. They'll kill these other sisters for because they're the same level, but they don't drop cash. So I'm amiable, amiably. I uh, con amiably with the sisters. Um, and so that's really good. 
I can vendor here, so that's fine. So you, as you can see, I'm picking up everything. I'm picking up belts, blood, uh, notes, uh, notes, words, um, and just every everything that they drop. Um, because I could just come over here and vendor, like while I'm waiting for the spawns. Um, the the camp is pretty comfortable, as you can see that I I do not have full life here, but between bandaging up when I drop below 50 and using mend, um, everything is going well. I can maximize cash since I can vendor here. I do remember, um, now this is what's gonna happen, is like, I know everything, I, I don't know what I said in the video, but I kinda know how it turns out, <laughs> right? Um, but what's gonna happen is like, I'm gonna talk about everything that happens, like it's gonna come to me as this is going on, and I'm gonna be done talking about everything before the end of the video, that's what I have a feeling. And I'm gonna have nothing to say like towards the end of the video. <clears throat> but anyways. Um so yeah. Uh this is pretty good money. I started amably and uh, what happens is I end up by the end of it, I do drop down from amiably. But you can drop down quite a few levels. Excuse me. You could drop down quite a few levels without, um, you know, becoming a hostile towards them or for them not to sell to you. But what the plan is, is I do need to go and go to the monk trainer, and I need to learn some abilities. Uh, so I want to go to the monk trainer. So um, the goal is at the at the end of this, when I level, is to go and um, deposit money into the bank because you do make a lot of cash here, especially if you're selling. Um, it's nice to be able to sell and re reduce your weight like that, but eventually your money will weigh. And I am a monk, so I'm supposed to keep my weight extremely low, which is, I mean, it just seems like undoable, really, but it is what it is. So I can hit these sisters pretty hard. Like, I hit her for 60 there. So I could, I could double at this point. I could double for 60s. Um, I think at some point I hit for 67. I think that might be my biggest hit. So if I double two hits, like 60 or, or above, it, it chunks their life pretty hard. It chunks them real good. It's a six minute spawn and mend is like a five minute cooldown or something like that. So I can mend um, every single round. So if they, if they do drop me below 50%, I can uh, bandage and then every single time I mend in between while I'm while I'm uh, regenerating. So it works out really good. It's super, it's a super good camp. It's only gonna get easier. Um, I think it's gonna get, now I'm not worried about mana, right? So when you're on a caster, you're limited to your mana. Um, sure, maybe when you're fighting the sisters, um, it might take less spells. You might cast less spells. Um, potentially, you know, dots will last longer, nukes might hit harder, so on and so forth. Your pet might be stronger, whatever it might be. But you still seem to spend, you know, roughly the same amount of mana. Um, whereas what will happen here is I'm going to start, my defense is going to get higher, my offense is going to get better. I'm going to start hitting them harder and I'm gonna start taking less less hits to myself. So what's gonna happen here is I think pretty quickly, um, I'm gonna to get to the point, maybe after a couple of levels, I'm gonna to get to the point to where I can pull more sisters. So I'll be killing these two and the ones that the mage is killing. And I think maybe only a couple of levels. So I'm 26 right here, but I'm thinking by like 28, maybe 29, I'll be able to take like four or five sisters, I, I think. Now, once again, they don't drop anything good. These are the only two sisters on the island that drop anything good. Uh, but it's about the XP. It's keeping the XP. Because as I get higher level, um, I'm going to need more XP to level. And so that's... And then also the mobs, you know, will will become lower and lower. Um, but that's going to be definitely a good way for me to keep up with the, with the XP that I need. Now, this, this video is going to be bad quality. Um, because... I recorded it once, and now I'm watching my recording 
and I'm recording that. So it's probably going to be grainier than it should be. And then on top of that, I'm just sitting here shooting the shit, talking. Um, so, yeah, bad video all around. Sorry for that. It was a mistake on my part, obviously. And uh, I'll try not to do it again. <laughs> That's for sure. This is um, this is not actually not something I want to do. Like, this is definitely you know taking up uh, taking up extra time. Um, I'm a busy dude. I could be using this time playing one of my three characters that I'm playing. It's kind of ridiculous that I'm playing three characters at once. I feel I'm going strong. I feel like I'm doing well, keeping up on them. Who knows what happens, but doing well. So we'll see. As I get higher, each of that's see that's a good mob right there. Two two runes, a belt, and a sword. Spoiler alert. That's like a 15 plat mob right there. Really, really good. That sword sold for 11 plat, 2 gold. The belt sold for 1.5 plat. And both of those runes were 1.2 gold each as well. Or 1.2 plat each. So, I mean, what is that? 11, 12, 13, 14. 15.1 gold. It's really, really good. 15.1 plat, Jesus. Um... So that, that was a that's a really good that's a really good sister fifteen plot right there, at level twenty six I'm twenty six but my necro started here at twenty four, it was really really tough I had a hard time but it was doable. Um, it's really easy as as a it's it's kind of crazy how easy this is as a melee now naturally I'm twinked, uh, but it feels really really good on the monk here. So I was having trouble, when I came here at 25, I was having trouble splitting the sisters. And then I ended up just giving up and going over somewhere else. Um, but uh, this time around, I was able to, able to finally do it. So it looks like I jumped there. Looks like I probably farmed the sisters for a while and then came back I don't really remember but we'll see here when I open my inventory we'll see if uh because I was at about a yellow and a half I think I like that there's not too much downtime with this um, you know if you want to just stay busy you got two sisters you got six minutes so you got one sister every three minutes it's pretty good I got sidetracked there. I forgot what I was talking about. Digging the two-hander, for sure. Really digging the two-hander. I do pull out the one... I don't know if I do in this video, but I don't think so. I think I'm waiting to get another level. I think I was waiting to ding. Um, so I'll probably do it on my next play session. But um, digging the... Uh, or I'm pulling, pulling the one-handers out every now and again so that I can keep them up to date. One-hand blunt. Oh, so my inventory's full here. So I gotta go sell off. Um, so I think I, I think that's what I did. I think I paused the video. I went and killed until I filled up my inventory again. So you can see here. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, I didn't expect to be recording this right now. I was just gonna chill, watch TV and edit some video. But you can see I'm almost at three yellows. And, um... I was at like a yellow and a half. So I got about a yellow and a half while paused, a little less. But I'm gonna make another another uh, sale here of all this gear. Um, and you can just watch the platinum skyrocket. It's really good if you if you could use the vendors here. It really, really is. So if you're any of the good races, then you can lose your um, your wood elf uh, rep, and you can vendor right on the other side of the hut. Instead of coming this way, you go the other way. Right over the hill, there's a couple of dwarves right there. It's like 30 feet, and um, you can vendor there. As long as you're cool with dwarves, which if you're a good race, you probably are. You probably haven't killed dwarves yet. A lot of people kill the dwarf guards that are at the harbor or at the port. 
outside of uh, Port Fedor or whatever, but um, that's not until later, right? You don't do that until you're like in your 50s or something. So, let me see here what we got going on here. Just a bunch of selling. Did pretty well there, up to 442 plat. But as you can see, my weight is just, even when I've sold everything, my weight is still just going up. So, you know, it is what it is. So then I do have to eventually, you know, at the end of your play session, at the end of your day, if you put in a few hours here, that's good. But on my Necro, what I was having to do is I couldn't vendor here. So on my Necro, what I would have to do is I, at least you could bind yourself. I bound myself at the, at the Druid Ring Maybe you did or didn't watch the Necro series. I don't know. But what I was doing is I bound myself at the Druid Ring uh, right on the other side of the zone line. So the Sisters Island is right next to the zone line. It's the first stop. It's like 20 seconds. <laughs> when the boat zones from Fedor or from Butcher Block Mountains, it's about 20 seconds and then you're at the island. So you're right there. So what I was doing is I was watching the the Discord. And the, the boat Discord will tell you when the boat's going to be there. So I'd watch the Discord and I'd be like, okay, the boat's gonna be, I'd give myself five minutes. That's all you need is five minutes. Okay, the, the boat's gonna be um, at, uh, not at Sisters Island, but the boat's gonna be in Butcher Block in five minutes from now. So I'd make sure I would um, gate, it'd put me at the Druid Ring in Butcher Block, sell everything real fast, run back to the, uh, run back to the uh, port, and then the boat would show up. It was like perfect timing. I'd jump on the boat, I'd get back, to my camp so there is a window there now if somebody's on the island they're gonna jack you for sure they're if they're like this mage he's waiting for me if i were if i were my necro and i would gate to go sell that's it he's taking over the camp you're gone for about six minutes about maybe six and a half minutes you're gone so the sisters respawn you have to split again and all that stuff not a big deal though if you could split them once you could split them a billion times right so not a big deal but if there is somebody here like this mage, you're done. But most of the time, people show up, they see you, and they're just like, oh, okay. They might ask you, how long are you gonna be here? You can be like, eh, I'm gonna be here for like another hour or two. And they might be like, oh, all right, I'll check back in like an hour or two or whatever. Or they might even show up here and then be like, okay, cool, I'm just gonna camp here. I'm gonna log in every once in a while and see if you're here. I'm gonna go play a different character, something like that. It's fine. So, um, you can get away with it. <laughs> you can you, you can hurt you can uh, gate over and run back and get back. And so I was doing that on the necro. Now occasionally, yeah, I would lose my camp doing that. But for the most part, it works pretty well. Um, but when you can sell on the island, and if you're a melee character, you have to be able to sell on the island. I'm an Ixar, so I'm not going to be able to sell on the island, right? So I had to preemptively. I knew this. This is. This is like a perma camp for me. I go to this camp on every character ever. Let me tell you, and I've probably beaten beaten the uh, dead horse with this one, but especially if you're not like making videos and trying to do new things or different things from one character to another or whatever, if you're just playing by yourself and nobody's watching you or whatever the case, the play is to do the Gargoyles Island at level 20. That's That's when they'll be blue to you. You do 20 to 25 at the Gargoyle Island, right across the street from this island. Now when you're 25, you come over here, and you do 25 to 35 at Sisters. Yeah, you might get bored of that, but nobody gets bored of money, I'm telling you. Some camps get boring. I am so sick of City of Mist. I am beyond sick of City of Mist. But if City of Mist was giving me hundreds of platinum every time I played there, or a thousand platinum if I played there for a day, I wouldn't be that bored of it. You know, I'd just be like, I'm going to work, basically. But um, now we're talking about in, from level 20, right? As low as level 20. Tell me, tell me, you know, how many camps are there where you're level 20 and you're making hundreds of plat? Not a lot. There are some, but not a lot. Um, so yeah, you do the gargoyles from 20 to 25. You do here from 25 to 35. 
And I'm telling you, if you did that the entire time, that's all you did. Gargoyles and sisters, nothing else, 15 levels straight. You will make 15,000 platinum in that time. I'm telling you, you will. You will make 15,000 platinum in that time, especially if you can sell on this island and you don't have to leave. Because uh, when you have to leave, you start sacrificing things. And yeah, it's not a lot of money. But you're like, I'm not going to pick this up because it, I need, you know, anything that's not a sword, if you're at Sisters, anything that's not a sword is a waste of an inventory spot. I need every single inventory spot to be a sword because a sword's worth 11 and a half platinum. Nothing else is, is near that. So, right? But if you can sell all the belts for one and a half platinum, you know, all of the stuff for 8G, it all just adds up. It all adds up. So we did another time skip here. Let me uh, let's see where we are. The video is actually almost over, or I mean, it's towards the end. It's only about 27 minutes or so. Um, it is the sisters, so I'm gonna keep these uh, these videos are gonna be short. So here we are, just a little over a yellow is what we need. I'm actually doing a decent job at keeping the conversation. When I hit record, I was like, I'm going to have nothing to say. I'm just going to sit here in silence. But at least I've been spatting something. I don't know. Um, a little low on health here. Every once in a while, they'll beat my ass. It's true. Like, they'll just hit me, hit me every time, and they'll hit me for max, and I'm not dodging or parrying. Every once in a while it happens, but it's not a big deal because you bandage, you mend, you're you're already back up to like 90% or 80% health. So you could pick up all the blood, you could pick up all the meat, you could pick up all the pages, words, you could pick up all the runes, uh, all of that stuff. You could pick up all the belts. I don't even know if I said that, but it all it all adds up, especially those belts at like 1.5 plat a piece. It adds up, you know, every 10 is an extra 15 plat, and I probably vendored probably like 50 of them during this time. I mean, <laughs> they drop at least half the time. So if you if you end up, you know, you get two sisters every six minutes, it means you get 20 sisters every hour. You're getting 20 belts an hour, you know. I mean, that's 30 platinum extra an hour. It's nothing insane, but that's just on belts. So you're getting 30 extra plat on belts. You know, you're probably getting... 10 extra plat on words and runes and you know whatever it just adds up right and then on top of that like I'm saying when we get higher a few levels from now we're gonna be killing more sisters we're gonna be killing four or five sisters they all drop belts too they drop shitty weapons that sell for a few gold or whatever but it all adds up and what I'll probably end up doing here I don't remember I think I'm gonna buy that bronze scythe I'm gonna buy the bronze scythe and I'm gonna sell it back to and I've maybe I've already been doing it. I don't even know. To um to coin up as well. So here's another selling session. So we're almost we're working on 600 plat here. So yeah, here's where I'm buying the. Uh, Buying the scythe and selling it back, you lose five gold per transaction. But I'm just trying to keep my weight down as a monk, you know. So, yeah, we're at 571 plat. Pretty good. And then, obviously. You might say, like, oh, okay, well, you, you leveled here and you only got, you know, say you get, like, 800 plat over your level. But, yeah, I got 800 plat at level 26. But level 27, it's going to take longer to level. So I'm going to have to kill more sisters. And level 28, it's going to take longer to level. And I'm going to have to kill even more sisters. And by the time you're in your 30s, you're killing double the amount of sisters. Plus, you got a couple hell levels in there. You got 30 and 30, well... You probably won't do 35 here. You'll probably do, when you ding 35, you'll probably be done. But you'll have level 30, which is a hell level. So you're obviously killing double the amount of sisters on that level. But 
you know, by the time you're 32 or whatever, you're killing double the amount of sisters you killed when you were like 30 or 26 or whatever. So, I mean, it just keeps like, you know, it keeps adding up. If you make almost a thousand plat when you're 26, you're doing 10 levels here at the sisters. You're doing 10 levels. You might make, you know, only like seven or 800 on your first level, but your last level you're making like, you know, 1400 plat or something like that. The gargoyles were actually surprisingly good. Like on one of my level levels on the uh, on the monk, I had two and a half stacks of eyes, so I had fifty eyes. That was a crazy. That was a crazy one. That was a, that was a shitload of platinum. There was a, they're like what are they nine platinum an eye or something like that? And I had fifty of them. It was pretty wild. And I had you know some other stuff that they dropped. I don't know, cash and whatever else. And that was low. That was like a level twenty. Uh, you know, or between 20 and 25, one of those levels. It's pretty good. So what I start doing here, so what I'm doing here is actually, is I'm timing it. I'm timing it, uh, I'm timing the boat. So the boat's about to be here. And it's, it's gonna be here any second. And like, I'm not leveled yet. I can't wait for more sisters to spawn. I think I need like one kill. You, you saw how close I was. And so I'm like, I'm just gonna kill this one right by the dock. I wanna level before I hit the boat. But the boat's gonna be here, I can't stop that. So the boat's already gone to Butcher Block. It's coming back, so it's on its way back to going to Freeport and I have to get on this boat. So I'm, and I'm like one kill away. So I start fighting this sister by the dock so I don't miss the boat. As you can see, I'm like low on life as well. This sister's the same level, she's like 25. So I'm trying to rush here so I can make this boat. And uh, obviously I'm not, I got a mend in there so that was good. But she's not, she does not want to die. Like I'm not doing damage to her. I'm going to try to keep these videos short when I'm at sisters. Um, because I know not everybody watches the Necro and the Monk. Um, I know there's some people out there who don't play Necro, but they do play Monk, so they watch Monk, but they don't watch the Necro. So for those people, they're not going to be too too like bored of this camp already. But I know if you watch the if you watch the Monk and the Necro, you're probably super sick of this camp already. But I just got to do it. I got to do it. It is what it is. So what I'm going to try to do is just keep these. You know, I'm going to try to keep these episodes like short, um, as to not like. You know, just as to not just like beat it down too hard. So there we go, we dinged 27. We got the ding. I even have some time to sell off because the boat wasn't there yet. So we'll see what our, and then look at this, the boat arrives. Everything was like, it was right on. Everything was kind of, kind of just perfect timing. So that's something I like to do is to make sure you're watching the boat schedule so that you can leave at, leave at an appropriate time. There's nothing worse than sitting at the dock for 30 minutes waiting for the boat. So yeah, I mean, we got like just about 700 plat. What is it? 645. We got 645 plat on this level. But like I said, by the time you get into your 30s, you're getting like a thousand or more plat per level because you're killing so much more. Now, of course, that will change. Now, if you're killing the other sisters, the other sisters... The other sisters don't give a ton of plat. So um, if you're killing those and getting XP from those, it all varies, right? But I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna let this play out to the rest of the uh, rest of the video in uh, in silence here. I'm gonna change the frame. See you guys next time.